Good morning from the Muddy Creek Zoo. The bird mafia, maybe they're protesting no peas. The bird mafia has decided that they don't want to lay their eggs in any one spot in their house. Sometimes when I open the door, eggs come rolling out when the birds come rolling out. Usually those are goose eggs. But the rest of the eggs used to be in that far back corner. There was this nice little nest covered with shavings, six to 10 eggs in there a day. It was great. Now, today, there were three across the back in random places, one in the far back corner, one in the far front corner. I gave them nest boxes that I had my hubby build last time I had ducks. The other ducks liked it just fine. By the way, new heated hose, loving that, except for it's warm enough, nothing is freezing. Anyway, i gonna shut this off while I speak. But the last ducks I had, I don't know, 10 years ago, whenever it was, were fine with the box. I gave them the box. They laid their eggs in the box. I could find the eggs in the box. Everything was good. Now, oh no, now I have to scoop shovel the entire, don't you fly over that fence. I have to scoop shovel the entire house on the inside because I can't find the dadgum eggs. Today there was two in the little nest that's across from the door. Neither one of them was goose eggs and the rest of them were just scattered. I don't understand why they're punishing me, but you know, you think with this beautiful weather, got all this, hi, they're leaving. I got all this mud for them to play in, which they love, but oh my goodness. I had this little litter box. I know it's not for ducks, whatever, it's for cats, but my other ducks used it. Then they have a big side and a little side of this nest box, and they choose to lay way back in the corner across from the opening, which is closed so it doesn't really get cold. Or they lay in this corner or under the feeder. I don't even know how they get it under the feeder. There's no room under the feeder, but they do. I don't understand the bird mafia. Hey, one of my cats. We never see the cats. Zena, she is 13. Hi, baby girl. Oh, she is out of here. I don't know why. Bye. Okay, Kodiak. Here's the new fence line we put in because Kodiak loves Tara and Talia and Kodiak and Tara played too rough. Hey, there's another one of my cats. Hi, Bobcat. Hi, Bobcat. Hi, baby. You still fat? You can't jump the gate? I'll come let you out. Anyway, now we have the poodles separated. Really? Right when I'm filming? Come here. Give me your better side. I know. Now we have the poodles separated from the moot so that hopefully they will stay safer. I will come help you, Bobcat. And then I've had to booger up my gate because the little brown booger goes through that hole. She goes under the gate. She goes through that hole. She is naughty. Well, I don't even know where she went. Where you at, Talia Grace? There she is. What, is, what are you eating? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what are you eating? Whatever it is, Lexi's gonna take it. Oh good, calisthenics. Actually more like aerobics. You guys getting your cardio in? Again, play? Talia has a tuft of grass and everybody wants it. Where'd you get that? That had to have come from Cody's side of the yard because that's where the dead gum holes are. Cody, are you digging in my yard? Are ya? Why don't you guys go play? What are you doing? Why'd you just tear that toy? No, now I have to take it away so you don't eat it. Come here, come here. Uh, thank you. You can't have stuff like that. No, and then you'll have to go have surgery. Don't tear stuff up. Okay, I'll play with you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You're just letting go? I think your decoy duck is dead, bud. I think Gretchen is dead. Like, her head's gone. Where's Gretchen's head? What'd you do with the decoy head? God dang it. Now we're missing a head. I'm never on this side of the fence, am I, guys? What the heck? Kippers? Gypsy ice. Storm, sorry. Kip, gypsy, storm. Then we have ice. And Tara and Bobcat, Princess Bobcat. Hi, baby. And little Thor. 
Well, let's see if we can find the rest of the, the zoo. Oh, Zena's mad this morning. My cats have decided that my flower beds all winter are litter boxes. So, not litter box, not a litter box, grumpy kitty. Like they have 40 acres of dirt and they have a whole lawn and they can just potty, like they can just potty out there in the dirt and the brush. Look, also not a litter box. Ha ha ha. They could even potty under that. But do you think they do? Mm. No, do you think they go outside the yard? No, they like the litter box, which isn't a litter box. It's a flower bed. Let's see if any more of the kitties are in here. Kitties. Oh, the boys must be hunting. Boomer. Hi, bud. Boomer is getting incontinent. Oh, guy. I know. Come on, old man. Do you want to go out this way? He just stands and looks out the window and then poops on the floor. I'm going to tickle your butt until you go outside. I'm going to tickle your butt until you go outside. Good job, buddy. It wasn't graceful, but you did well. He's going to come right back in and poop. Look at her. Stop covering my litter boxes, Mom. Stop covering my litter boxes. Uh-huh, gotcha. Kindergarten was grumpy this morning, so I gave them all new toys. And I moved that toy out because now they've got the hang of the potty grass. And they got their blankies that are going to go home with them. They don't lay in the bed. I don't know why they don't lay in the bed. They lay in there on the pillow. So the blankies went in, the, in there on the pillow. Hi, guys. Hi, babies. Are going to play with the new toys? Mommy has decided she's not feeding them at all, not even nursing for comfort. So they are so mad. Hi, Cole. Hi, Shadow. Hi, Monsters. Oh, honey, it's okay. Guess what? You're going to go to your new home this weekend. Heck yeah, you are. It's good babies. That's good babies, Shadow, Cole. It's all right. And then... The monsters want in. Look at all the nose prints. You can't even see the dogs through the glass. One, two, three. That's not nearly enough. Hey guys, come on. Let's go. Come, 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 come. In the house. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's enough because Killian is with his mama. And, oops, sorry. And Blaze is in here with her babies. And I still haven't seen little moose. You guys stay. Blaze does not welcome company. <gasps> Hi, Mama. Hi, beautiful Mama girl. Look at those pretty babies. I know, just gonna take a sneak peek. Oh, no sneak peeks for me, huh? Yeah, you still got just a little spotting, don't you? Oh, such strong, pretty babies. Can we see? Can we see them? Oh, Mama. I know you're getting mad at me. Mad enough that when I already changed your bedding. Now you're mad because I want to look at the babies. They're wiggling. They're growing. Do you still pink on your tail? Okay, I still know who you are, so I can weigh you. Good job, Mama. Yes, a good girl, please. Good girl. Well, I guess it's time to start working with the dogs. Well, maybe I'll brush my hair. I brushed my teeth. But I think it's time to start working with puppies. They are ready. They are bored. You guys ready to do some climbing stuff today? You want your mama? She's just going to growl at you. Focus. Camera. Seriously? Okay, focus on the hermit crabs. Now focus on the dogs. The camera's being weird. There's my little male betta. The little female's in there somewhere, but she's so tiny and he picks on her. And all the Hermes are hiding today. They're sure looking good, though. My African cichlids are breeding again, so I've got new babies in there. But, of course, you can't see them now because I'm actually filming them. Why would they show up while I'm filming them? That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it, Gypsy? And these guys also have a glare, so you can't see. There we go. Parrotfish or puppy fish as I like to call them because they love their mom just like puppies they come when I call them and when I put my hand out who else is out this morning just the algae eater really everybody else is oh I see you 
I see you in the pirate ship. Ah, ha, ha. All right, well, I don't know where Moose Cat went, but that's my, my daily zoo entry. I don't know. I don't know where Moose went. She's got to be hiding underneath something. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Say bye, Lex. Say bye.